Hey guys, what's going on? Terribly Tactical here with another review. This one's going to be over the Surefire G2X Tactical Flashlight. This is the updated model with 320 lumens, and I'll show you how I got it set up on the rifle and give you some of the specs and see if you guys might be interested in one. I'm going to tell you right now, this is a great light all around. It's a great weapon light, and it's very inexpensive, especially for a Surefire light. Surefire is known for their quality across the board, and I'm bringing you, this guy's bringing you guys this review because if you don't know about this light, which you should, it's been out for a while. Like I said, this is the more updated, more recent version. Um, you should definitely check them out because it could really help fill that niche uh, for a weapon light or just, you know, an EDC light, a, a light for your bug out bag, whatever it is. So here it is. I got it on the uh, the Sport 2, Smith & Wesson Sport 2. And uh, I got it on a quick detach mount on uh, <clears throat> on a little barrel mounted uh, Picatinny rail. Because I didn't want to really switch out the furniture on this. Uh, kind of leave it just as is. Um, kind of minimalist. I don't really need a forward grip or, you know, free floated rails or anything like this. I mean, this is going to be a, a fighting rifle. I want to keep it as streamlined and as lightweight as possible. So I got it in there. Um, the, the diameter of the light is a one inch. It's a one inch diameter, so it will fit all one inch rings, which is pretty much the standard. Uh, it's a nitrolon polymer body, aluminum bezel, polycarbonate lens, um, and it's a really nice light. This you can see the little. Uh, well, you can't really because it won't focus. There we go. Anyway, it's marked C. Um, there's a bunch of different uh, markings A, B, C, D. Um, it it designates different features. This one's a little different in a sense that most of the G2X Tacticals are momentary only. This one you could actually do momentary. It's a tough momentary. It's easy to actuate, but it's tough to actually fully click in. Uh, you really have to be deliberate about that because this one is not like the standard G2X. It actually does have a clicky constant on. As opposed to before, you would back off the tail cap a little bit. It would be momentary only, no matter how hard you pushed it. And then if you wanted constant on, you'd rotate the tail cap. This, it still does have the standard... Surefire tail cap, um, where if you, you turn it, it's in lockout mode. So no matter how much you push this, uh, it's not going to turn on. It's good for, you know, if you got your weapon up in the safe, um, you don't want to inadvertently getting turned on in a bag or during transport or even in your pocket if you're using it for EDC. Um, so that's a nice feature. I cannot show you guys that uh, because it's locked into the mount and I'm not going to take it out. Even though it would be easy to do so, but this tail cap does rotate. I believe it's to the right uh, for complete lockout, and then the flashlight will not operate. But in the meantime, it does just have the uh, the tail cap switch. You could touch it momentarily, 320 lumens, or you click it all the way on for 320 lumens. Uh, runs off two CR123A batteries, and the runtime is about two hours. Um, Excellent flashlight. I've done a little bit of testing with it, some some drop tests, some I dunked it in water. This thing I should have filmed this honestly, but um just to see because you know if I'm going to be trusting my life to it on a weapon, uh, a fighting weapon, then you know a defensive weapon, then I, I want it to work. I know Surefire across the board, you can really trust their stuff, but uh, every company you know can put out a lemon or, or whatever. So I, I tested a little bit. It is completely O-ring sealed and basically waterproof to an extent. I wouldn't leave it in a bucket of water, you know, for an extended period of time. But you know, say you're out in the woods, you drop it in a puddle, you drop it in the river, you know, you pick it up, it'll be perfectly fine. Um, obviously, rain is not going to hurt the thing whatsoever. Uh, it's got a great uh, price point. I paid about $63 with free shipping on this light off Cheaper Than Dirt. You can get them at most your uh, big box stores like Gander or you know maybe Bass Pro, stuff like that. You can find them all over the place online. Uh, Amazon for sure. They come in a bunch of different colors. I got the black one just because it matches the rifle. They do offer a foliage and like a flat dark earth coyote type. Uh, they offer yellow I believe uh, for more of the rescue type of deal. Possibly an orange, and uh, I believe a gray, but I could be wrong. Don't quote me on it. But 
like I was saying, this is a great light. It does everything you need it to do. Um, I wish it was the momentary only because if you were in a high stress situation, fingers turned to flippers, you could push this too hard. Although, it, I mean, it is pretty hard to, to get it to click all the way in, but under stress, you're just going to mush that thing in there. And, uh, you know, if you only need the light for a split second and you don't want to be giving away your position or, or backlighting yourself or whatever, um, that could be a problem if you click it all the way in. But, you know, that's a training issue. Um, like I said, it is hard to, to get it to click all the way in, so that will help you. Uh, it's a great light. You can EDC it. It does not come with a pocket clip. So you're basically just going to shove it in the pocket. I believe somebody, if it's not Surefire themselves, somebody does make a pocket clip you can mount to this. Uh, it is a little bit bigger. It's about five and a quarter inches long. And again, the uh, the bezel is one and a quarter inches, and the uh, the handle, the grip, is is one inch diameter. The only thing for like an EDC or a standalone light, um, the polycarbonate or not the polycarbonate, the nitrilon polymer body is very slick they do you can see they do have like these little grooves um you know cut in and uh, it does give you a little grip a little texture but when your hands are wet i noticed this when i was messing around with it in the water it doesn't it doesn't maintain a good positive grip that easily um it is kind of slick it's a smooth surface they could put a little bit of knurling on there i mean it is a polymer you know so i mean you could stipple it yourself um, but that's the real, that's really the only gripe I have about the light. The price point is great. Uh, they're very common. It's a trusted brand. I highly suggest you guys check them out. A lot of people, um, this isn't specifically a weapons light per Surefire, but a lot of people run these on their lights because they're inexpensive and they're great quality. And like I said, they come in a variety of, uh, of colors and have a bunch of different features. You know, this one just has to, um, just has the uh, the constant on or the momentary. It's 320 lumens no matter what. They have a pro model which is uh, 15 lumens, then 320 or 200. The old one was 200, um, and then it, it has the constant on as well. They all have the uh, patented lockout feature. Uh, it's a great light. The important parts are metal. It is slightly crenulated along the edge here. If you were to use it as an impact device. And uh, just highly recommended. So I wanted to show you guys this light, bring it to the to the table, um, let you guys know that it's terribly tactical approved, um, like you care, right? A lot of you guys already know about this light. They're great light, great lights. Surefire is a great company uh, for weapon lights, for handguns, rifles, for EDC lights. You usually are going to pay for for the name, but it's it's the quality that comes with the name. Surefire is a great company. I'm pretty sure. It is lifetime warrantied, um, so that's great. I know they got a great warranty on all their all their products, and I'm really happy with it, especially for the money. I got a great weapon light that I could easily take off the rifle, use it as EDC, put it in a bug out bag, throw it in the car, you know. So get a couple of these, especially for the price. Uh, they're going to be tough, durable, reliable, great lumen output, you know, with the LEDs nowadays. And uh, they're inexpensive for the quality. I mean, this this would easily, in my opinion, I would have no problem if the going rate was 100 bucks for this light. I would pay it. Uh, so that's that. Terribly Tactical signing off, rem reminding you guys to stay safe, stay armed, always be prepared, and don't ever think about shredding on me. Peace, guys.